In a village nestled between towering mountains and a winding river, there lived a man named Yudo. He was known for his strength and courage, but also for his impatience and quick temper. Yudo had spent his youth chasing wealth and recognition, believing these would bring him true happiness. As the years passed, he found himself feeling increasingly empty and unfulfilled. One day, a traveling monk named Hakuan arrived in the village. Hakuan was revered for his wisdom and tranquility, and he attracted many followers wherever he went. Intrigued by the monk's serenity, Yudo decided to attend one of Hakuan's teachings. Lesson 1, The Illusion of Control Hakuan began with a story. There was once a king who desired to control everything in his kingdom. He built walls to keep out invaders, imposed strict laws, and hoarded wealth. Yet, despite all his efforts, his people were unhappy, and his kingdom was fraught with unrest, the monk looked at his audience, his eyes resting on Yudo. The king learned that control is an illusion. The more he tried to control, the more he lost. True peace comes from accepting what we cannot change and focusing on what we can, Yudo felt a pang of recognition. He had spent much of his life trying to control every aspect of his business, his family, and his environment, only to find himself more stressed and dissatisfied. After the teaching, he approached Hakuan and asked, how can one accept what they cannot change, Hakuan smiled. Meditation and mindfulness are key. Through them, you learn to observe without judgment, to let go of the need to control. Lesson 2, The Value of Time The next day, Hakuan told another story. In a distant land, there was a merchant who spent all his time working, believing he could buy happiness with wealth. As he grew older, he realized that while he had amassed great riches, he had missed the joy of watching his children grow and the simple pleasures of life, Yudo nodded, feeling the weight of the monk's words. He had often neglected his family in his pursuit of success. Hakuan continued, time is the most valuable commodity we have. Once spent, it cannot be reclaimed. Spend it wisely, with those you love and in activities that bring you true joy. That evening, Yudo decided to spend time with his wife and children, something he had not done in years. They laughed and shared stories, and Yudo felt a sense of warmth and connection he had long forgotten. Lesson 3, The Power of Compassion On the third day, Hakuan spoke of compassion. A farmer once found a wounded bird and cared for it until it could fly again. Years later, when the farmer fell ill, the bird returned with a flock that brought him food each day. The kindness he had shown came back to him when he needed it most, Yudo thought of his relationships. He had been harsh and demanding, believing that being tough was the way to get results. Hakuan's story made him realize the importance of compassion and kindness. He decided to treat his workers and family with more understanding and empathy, and he noticed a change. People were more cooperative, and there was a sense of harmony he had never experienced before. Lesson 4, The Impermanence of Life Hakuan's next lesson was about impermanence. A wise man once said, this too shall pass. Whether we are experiencing joy or sorrow, success or failure, nothing is permanent. Understanding this can help us appreciate the present moment and let go of our attachments, Yudo reflected on his life, remembering the times of both triumph and failure. He realized he had spent so much time clinging to past glories and worrying about future failures that he had forgotten to live in the present. Inspired by Hakuan's words, he began practicing mindfulness, learning to savor each moment without attachment. 
Lesson 5, The Importance of Self-Reflection On the fifth day, Hakwan told a story about a mirror. There was a man who looked into a mirror and saw his reflection. At first, he was pleased, but as he looked closer, he saw imperfections and flaws. Instead of turning away, he chose to reflect on his actions and thoughts, striving to improve himself each day, Yudo realized he had rarely taken the time to reflect on his own actions and their consequences. He began a daily practice of self-reflection, examining his thoughts, words, and deeds. This practice helped him grow more aware of his flaws and motivated him to become a better person. Lesson 6, The Gift of Gratitude Hukwan's next lesson was about gratitude. There was a woman who, despite having little, was always happy. When asked her secret, she said she was grateful for every small blessing in her life. Gratitude turned her life into a series of miracles, Yudo had always focused on what he lacked rather than what he had. Inspired by Hakuan's story, he started a gratitude journal, noting down things he was thankful for each day. This simple practice shifted his perspective, making him more appreciative of the abundance in his life. Lesson 7, The Strength in Vulnerability On the seventh day, Hakwan shared a story about a warrior. A fierce warrior, known for his invincibility, was defeated by a humble monk. The monk explained that his strength came from embracing his vulnerabilities and fears. Not from denying them, Yudo had always prided himself on his toughness, never showing weakness. Hakwan's story made him realize that true strength lies in acknowledging and accepting one's vulnerabilities. He began to open up to his family and friends about his fears and struggles, and he found that this brought them closer and made him stronger. Lesson 8, The Path to Inner Peace on the final day, Hakwan spoke about inner peace. A man searched far and wide for peace, traveling to distant lands and meeting many teachers. It was only when he looked within that he found what he was seeking. Inner peace comes from understanding and accepting oneself, and living in harmony with the world. Yudo had spent his life searching for happiness in external achievements and possessions. Hakwan's teachings made him realize that true peace and happiness come from within. He committed to a path of self-discovery and inner growth, embracing meditation, mindfulness, and the lessons he had learned. As the years passed, Yudo transformed. He became a source of wisdom and tranquility in his village, guiding others on their paths to inner peace. He often reflected on Hakwan's teachings, grateful for the lessons that had changed his life. Through acceptance, compassion, gratitude, and self-reflection, Yudo found the true happiness and fulfillment he had been seeking all along. Hakwan's visit to the village and his teachings left a lasting impact on Yudo and the villagers. They learned that life's greatest lessons often come not from external achievements, but from inner growth and understanding. Yudo's journey of transformation serves as a reminder that it is never too late to change, to learn, and to find true happiness and peace. In the end, the villagers remembered Hakwan's words, life is a journey. And every step offers a lesson. Embrace each lesson with an open heart and mind, and you will find the path to true fulfillment. And so, the wisdom of Hakwan continued to guide them, generation after generation, in their quest for a meaningful and peaceful life. Thanks for watching. Hope enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, Feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.